Hey guys, this is Nikki from Wicked Awesome Books, and this is my In My Mailbox. I haven't done one of these for a while, so I have a lot of books. I'm going to go a little fast. So first for review, Dark Parties by Sarah Grant, and this is a dystopian. I'll be reviewing it like a week and a half, I think, and there'll be a giveaway with it, so I'll be on the lookout for that. Then, Sally's Bones by Mackenzie Cadenhead, which... Oh, and illustrated by T.S. Spooky Tooth, so I'm assuming those are both pen names. Obviously, the illustrators is. And this is a middle grade novel. I think that's kind of obvious. It's from Source Books. And, uh, The Warrior Sheep Go West. This is another middle grade book. Also from Source Books by Christine and Christopher Russell. And then I bought The Quest of the Warrior Sheep, which is the first one. Also middle grade. I love middle grade books, so sometimes I just I go on a splurge like now. I also bought Nightly Academy by Violet Haberdasher, which is a pen name. Um, I met the author at BEA or at the book blogger convention, and she's hilarious. I mean, she's so, so funny, and she's a huge Doctor Who fan. I guess she, she vlogs about Doctor Who on a regular basis, which, I mean, I haven't watched the show yet, but I have it, so I will watch it eventually. But yeah, she was she was absolutely hilarious, so I had to pick this up. And the second one just came out, so. And then I bought The Splendor Falls by Rosemary Clement Moore. And I've heard lots of good things about this. And the cover's pretty, so. And I bought this new one, Brother Sister by Sean Olin. And I haven't seen this around too much, but I've wanted to read it since I first heard about it. So, it's, it's, uh, I don't know, it sounds really cool. And the, the cover has stuff on it about how, I guess, the brother kills someone. And it's just very complicated, so. I really want to read that. I'll probably read that soon, just because I've really wanted to for a while. And I went to the Dark Days tour with, um... Leah Clifford, Courtney Allison Moulton, and Lisa DeRocher. And I picked up, I'm, I already had most of the books, but I picked up um, Original Sin, which is the second one by Lisa DeRocher. So that's signed. I think I'm going to be giving some of these away, so, eventually. And uh, it was their last stop before they all headed home, so they were just, like, loading us up with swag. So I have tons and tons of swag, including uh, Team Luke. And Team Gabe Tattoos, that's from Personal Demons, Original Sin, as well as some bookmarks, postcards, and then uh, Leah Clifford just like handed us tons and tons of stickers that are signed, and bookmarks that are signed, like these are all from A Touch Mortal, I have a billion, so... I'll be doing, definitely doing something with them in the future. And then Courtney Allison Moulton told us to do the same thing and just load up. And her bookmarks are absolutely gorgeous. Like, look at that. These are, this is the cover for Angel Fire. And then she has the character bookmarks. So that one's Will, Ellie, and the mysterious Caden. So... Um, yeah. This is my stack of Angel Fire bookmarks. So yeah, there's a lot. Uh, I won. I had a couple of wins. Sharks and Boys by Kristen Tracy, which just came out. Uh, normally I wouldn't go for something like this, but I was reading about it, and it actually sounds really, really good. Like, it looks like a superficial kind of ooey-gooey, maybe not really my type of thing love story, but it, uh, it sounds like a lot more than that, so... I'm going to give it a shot. And then I won Stork by Wendy Delsol, which the second one is coming out this fall, which is called Frost, and I wanted to read Frost just from seeing the um, the description on Goodreads, and I, I don't know how I missed it, but I had no clue that it was a sequel, so I'm glad I got this one first now. I went to the Dark Days tour with a whole bunch of people. Emily from Red House Books went with me, and brought me some books to borrow and keep, so to borrow, The Girl Who Was On Fire, and then she gave me to keep Darkness Becomes Her by Kelly Keaton, which I read and I loved, but I had the arc, and now I have the pretty finished copy, 
And then Demon Glass by uh, Rachel Hawkins. And I still haven't read Hex Hall, but I have Hex Hall, and now I have Demon Glass. And then lastly, um, Gifted to Me is Heavenly by Jennifer Lawrence. Well, and some postcards. This one says Real Angels Don't Fall, which is kind of cool. And um, if you're friends with her on Facebook, she's, she's awesome. She'll send you a book on your birthday. And my birthday passed in June, so she sent me Heavenly. Yeah. So that's what I got the last couple weeks. Leave links below to your mailboxes, and I will check them all out.